praise God and hallelujah. We just want to exalt you, our Lord and our Master. You are good and your mercy is endured forever. Let's praise his wonderful name for all his faith, all, because of all that he does for us and also for his faithfulness. Thank you, O Lord Jesus. We pray that you speak to us today too. Please feed our soul, soul understand you better. Thank you for having your way today too. Oh God, for starting this week with us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We will take our devotional reading from Matthew chapter 8, the verses 18 to 22. Matthew 8, 18 to 22. Let's hear the word of God. And when Jesus saw great multitudes about him, he gave a command to depart to the other side. Then a certain scribe came and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Let's take that again. A certain scribe. We know that the scribes normally worked with the Pharisees. The scribe writes the law, so they are very particular about the law. And this man came and called Jesus teacher. Teacher. He acknowledged that Jesus was a teacher. And for a scribe to call Jesus a teacher, meaning that he paid reverence to Jesus. But listen to what Jesus told him. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Amen. So we see here Jesus speaking to these men on two different occasions. One told him that he would follow him. Yes, as we know, the scribe is supposed to be someone who is doing well in life. Yes. And for him to tell Jesus he wants to follow him. Jesus wanted him to know the real calling. When they said, you've been called, you've been, you've been called to follow Jesus. Jesus wanted him to know all about that. It is not just by following, just by um, saying, I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. It's not only about that. But it is about sacrifice. It is about serving. It is about humility. It is about having empathy in many situations. We need to enter that situation. And some of the situations we see are very hard and tough. And so Jesus wanted him to know that there is more to it than just saying, I will follow you. Jesus said, even animals, foxes have holes. It means they have homes where they can go and rest. Birds have nests. That is where they live. That is where they rest. But in doing God's work, there is no relaxation like that. Yes, we always have to know that we are standing in the gap. We are offending and defending. We are soldiers in Christ. We are in a battle, and it is only the, the, the power of the Lord that can see us through. So when we say we are Christians, we are believers, we are following Christ, there is more to it than just saying. It needs commitment. It needs submission to the Spirit of God. It means that we need to listen. It means we need to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us through his word, through his word and prayer. Jesus went about preaching the gospel in villages, in towns, everywhere. That is why he gave the man this um, reply. And this other man also, who was also looking back to go and bury his father before coming to follow Jesus. Jesus said, let the dead bury their dead. It does not mean that we do not take care of family issues. But there are times when the work of God can take you out of your home. 
end. We can, there are so many things that we need to do in the home though, but we need also to know that we've been called for a purpose. So we seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things are added unto us. God directs us if we rely on him, he will direct us and show us the right thing to do at the right time. He has called us. We have not called him. So when we ask for wisdom to go about these things, minding home business and doing the work of God, he will grant unto us. Please share the word. And allow the Spirit of God to speak to you. Be fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen.